In this tutorial, we will show you how to render Maya scenes on our farm. We will be focusing on VRL Render Engine. First, go to our website and create an account using the Sign Up button. Next, just log in with your Ursula ID and password. Once you're in, you will be redirected to our web manager. Basically, it's your farm control dashboard. To continue with the process, just switch to the Downloads tab and select Installer dedicated for your operating system. Once Render Beamer installed is your local drive, just start the exit. Next, you can check our Terms of Service and continue with the process. After successful installation, just run the Render Beamer. Once Render Beamer starts the first time, it will automatically check for possible updates. Next, you need to set some default render beamer behavior settings, automatic download frames, which should be always on, and auto submit, which will forward your scenes directly to rendering without web manager scene check and settings. It can speed up farm operations, however, it should be used only after base scenes testing. Next, just select the default download folder. This will be the place where all rendered output will be downloaded from the farm. For this particular tutorial, we'll just create a new download folder for farm renders. If you would like to keep farm outputs downloaded to the scene output path, you can turn on the Use Scene Download Path switch in Render Beamer settings. As this is the first Render Beamer startup, you also need to log in. A Render Beamer will remember your login details, transfers in progress, download tasks, and internal settings after each restart. Once we're all set, let's install the app plugin for dedicated app. Of course, we'll just select Maya. Now, once everything is set, let's switch to Maya and proceed with the scene. As you can see, we are using Maya in 2020 version. However, our software will work without issues for every older Maya versions, starting from 2016. Once the project is set, let's load the scene. As you can see, we are using V-Ray as main render engine. Our test scene contains three render layers. Each render layer contains the same render range, but a different camera view. Next, let's just check some V-Ray options. All render quality options from your scene will stay exactly the same on farm side. If you are using GI with light cache or other previous modes like irradiance maps, and have GA maps saved to the local drive, you can connect them using from file modes. Next, let's take a look at the render elements tab. As you can see, all available V-Ray outputs are listed here and turn it on. So basically, our scene is just full prepared for rendering on both the local machine and render farm nodes. Now, just save the scene file and switch to render beamer tab. Here you can find two shortcuts. Run Render Beamer and Run Render Beamer Calculator. The calculator will forward your scene render info to our online cost calculator tool. Here you can calculate estimated cost and time needed for the farm to process your scene. Your CPU model and render range is automatically forwarded to CostCalc, so all you need to do is just fill estimate frame render time. To continue, just use the first shortcut. Run Render Beamer. Our test scene contains missing assets, so plugin started automatically in the Assets tab. We will get to the assets later. First, let's take a look at render settings. Here you can choose between plugin modes. The first one is Render As Is. This mode will render your scene with the current setup. None of the GI engines will be cached. The next one is Bank and Render Full Animation. Here, GI will be cached with Irradiance Map Animation Prepass and Render with Animation Rendering Mode. Also, Light Cache will be used in progressive path tracing and saved along with Irradiance Map. For this plugin mode, GI is automatically cached on farm for every frame, so you don't need to worry about any GI cache files. Bake and Render Full Animation should be used only for scenes that require GI caching and contains many animated objects. The same goes for the third mode. Bank and render camera animation. Here, GI will also be set in Irradiance Map plus Light Cache mode. However, 
the radiance map will be cached with incremental add to current map setup and step 10. Light cache will be prepared with flight through mode and saved next to the irradiance map. GI can be cached using multi-node function. Bank and render camera should be used only for scenes where the camera is the only animated object. Those two plugin modes will work only with very version lower than 5. Due to chaos group V-ray changes, irradiance map has been withdrawn from V-ray 5 and higher. The last mode is still image. This setup is developed to render high resolution still shots on many render nodes. Here you can set the number of strips, which is the render node value, and the orientation. After successful rendering, final frame will be merged into one big size image. Generally, for most case scenarios, you can just use render as is. Your scene will be rendered with the current GI setup. For still shots rendering, just use the strips mode. Once we set desired plugin mode, we can take a look on the rest of the setup. On the right side, you can see a list of available render layers and extensions. If everything is fine here, we can roll back to the Assets tab. As you can see, all assets are highlighted as missing. To fix that common problem, just use Search Directory button and browse to the correct path. Our plugin will allow rendering scene with missing assets, but it's highly unrecommended workflow. Missing assets, especially caches, can cause issues with rendering and increase render time. To continue, just use Send button and finish the Maya part. Our Maya plugin will start preparing data to upload. Once it's done, you will get a prompt with the closing button and a render beamer window will pop up the front. As you can see, Render Beamer has just started uploading a project to the farm. Depending on the scene size and connected assets, this process can take a while. Once it's done, you will receive a prompt with a big click here button. Just use it to continue. This part of the workflow can be skipped if you are turned on Render Beamer Auto Submit feature. To know more about Render Beamer options and features, please check our dedicated Render Beamer playlist. Once clicked on the Submit button, you will be redirected back to Web Manager. Here you can check desired settings before adding scene to Render Farm Queue. Please keep in mind that most render job settings cannot be changed after adding scene to rendering. So this is the last place. As you can see, most basic render setup still can be changed. For example, frame range, output format, or renderable switch in the layers list. To speed up the rendering process, we will use Render each layer as separate job. This option will add the scene as three render jobs. So all two layers will be rendered at the same time. If everything is just fine, just use Submit button. Now, your scenes are added to the far render queue. As you can see, all three layers are listed in the job ellipse table. If any of the render jobs receive light green active status, it means that scene is just forward to the render nodes. After selecting a full active job, you can check the rendering progress. On the right side panel, you will find active and DOM frames list. They are updated almost instantly, so you can monitor the progress of any single frame in real time. With Web Manager dashboard, you can manage your render jobs from any place on Earth. For more info about Web Manager and its features, please check our dedicated Web Manager playlist. Now, let us move to the main window to the front and grab a cup of coffee while the scene is being processed by the farm. Main job progress bar will start to fill up along with the rendering process. To check the outputs, just go to the render beamer and switch to the download tab. As you can see, all three outputs are already listed here. Also, all three downloads list get auto download switch on as we already check it while render beamer startup. Now, just select the whole list and use refresh button. From this time, all available render outputs will be automatically downloaded to your selected directory. Depending on your network connection, the download process may take some time to complete. For example, downloading big output files like 500 megabytes EXRs may take some time to finish. Once the files are on our local site, we can open them directly from Render Beamer and check the frames. Here, we can see the main beauty frames. The frames are rendered 100% correctly as we wanted. Next to them, we can find render elements. 
Bump Normals, CryptoMate, Denoiser, GI, and many others. So, as you can see, every selected render output is rendered and saved along with the main one. Now, all you need to do is just wait for complete rendering. You can check the progress on the web dashboard or just bring Render Beamer to the front and check already downloaded files. So, that's pretty much all when it comes to Maya with Vray or on our render farm. We do support many Maya plugins like Bifrost, Reflow, Yeti, Phoenix FD, XGen, Golem, R shaders, and Ornatrix. But in case of any issues with the farm process, feel free to contact us on 24 7 real life chat, which is just connected directly in Render Beamer. Happy rendering!